morning. My name is Tom Lazinski. I'm the lay minister for the Union United Methodist Church, and welcome to our morning children's time. Well, this morning is the third week of Advent, and today we will light three candles. Do you remember which candles we lit last week? We lit the candle of hope and the candle of peace. This Sunday, we will light the pink candle, which represents joy. And Aaron will help us light them. We light the first candle that represents the hope that is coming into the world. Let us keep hope in our hearts every day. The second candle represents peace. Let the peace of Jesus fill our hearts and our minds throughout the coming year. The third candle represents joy. Let the joy of the light coming into the world fills our hearts and minds. Amen. Thank you. Our verse for today is from the New Testament, the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 9. When they had heard the, the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. Have you ever gone on a long trip to see a family member or a friend who lived very far away? Or maybe you went on a family vacation to an amusement park or a national park, maybe someplace like the Grand Canyon. Well, if you go on a trip, there's a lot of preparations to, to make. You pack up your clothes and whatever items you might need for the trip. Maybe you're going on a camping trip, so you have to pack all your camping gear. And your parents probably made a plan of all the things that you would do and all the places you would stop on your trip and they also needed to find out exactly where your family was going and how to get there. How do you suppose they figured that out? They might have called the people that they were going to go visit to get directions or they might have used the GPS in their car or maybe they had a map. Maps are very useful for helping people find their way on long trips. Now, some people use paper maps or books called road atlases, but most people who have cell phones use the GPS or map apps on their cell phones. Now this is a great tool for travelers, but sometimes the GPS is not very accurate and you end up getting lost because the map might be out of date. I had a few experiences getting lost using my cell phone's GPS system when I was trying to find my way. Did you know that many years ago when sailors were out at sea, they needed help to find a port at night or during storms? And sailors looked into the sky for a light to guide them into the port. And that light came from a lighthouse set up high on the coast by the port. This right here is an example of what a lighthouse might look like. And up here at the very top is where the light would shine out. And the light would go around in a circle and it would be like a beacon and it could be seen for miles off into the water or off across the water so the boats could see it and it would guide them safely into the harbor. This light was a means of hope for them and a means of joy because they knew that safety wasn't far off. I'm going to read to you from the book of Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 through 12. That's in the New Testament. We are going to hear another, about another guiding light that the three men followed to find the baby Jesus. 
Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem, in Judea, during the time when Herod was king. After Jesus was born, some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked people, Where is the child who has been born to be king of the Jews? We saw the star that shows he was born. We saw it rise in the sky in the east, and we have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about this, it upset him, as well as everyone else in Jerusalem. Herod called a meeting of all the leading Jewish priests and teachers of the law. He asked them where the Messiah would be born. They answered, in the town of Bethlehem in Judea, just as the prophet wrote, Bethlehem in the land of Judea, you are most, you are important among the rulers of Judah. Yes, a ruler will come from you, and that ruler will lead Israel, my people. Then Herod had a private meeting with the wise men from the east. He learned from them the exact time they first saw the star. Then he sent them to Bethlehem. He said, go and look carefully for the child. When you find him, come and tell him that I can go worship him too. After the wise men heard the king, they left. They saw the same star that they had seen in the east, and they followed it. The star went before them until it stopped above the place where the child was. They were very happy and excited to see the star. The wise men came to the house where the child was with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened the boxes of gifts they had brought for him. They gave him treasures of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But God warned the wise men in a dream not to go back to Herod. So they went home to their own country in a different way. We feel lost when we don't know what we should do when we're faced with a problem. Maybe we are wondering what is the right thing to do. And we can feel lost when we are unsure of what is right or what is wrong. We can choose to go it alone, trying to figure it out on our own. And sometimes we end up feeling alone and lost. Or we can ask for directions. And how do we do that? The three wise men followed the light of the star until they found Jesus, who is a light come into the world. And Jesus is our guiding light too. If we seek Jesus and we follow him, he will become our guiding light, helping us. We will never be lost or alone as long as we look toward the light of Jesus and follow him. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for being our light in this world. We thank you that we can follow your light and you will show us which way to go. We thank you for all your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you until we meet again. And remember to smile because God really, really does love you.